I've got new glasses as well, which I'm very pleased with, yeah, I'm going to spec savers, yeah. This wasn't my idea, someone suggested it to me. <laughs> I thought it was very rude of them, since I'd just fallen in the river. <laughs> Should have got the spec savers, mate. <laughs> you don't even know if I can swim. Because that's how I swim, upright and camp. <laughs> <sighs> Now, I like wearing glasses. People say to me, why don't you get that laser operation on the eye? And I don't want to do that for two reasons. Firstly, because, because I know that out there somewhere is an eye surgeon who's a bit like me, you know, a bit slapdash. <laughs> bit of a bodger, you know. <laughs> Got through all the exams somehow, kept his head down, nobody ever really noticed. <laughs> and now he's operating on my eye with a laser beam. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon that's enough? Do you reckon that, that's it? Yeah, a bit more. Can't hurt, can it? <laughs> oh, shit, that's too much, isn't it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, I'll tell you what, when he wakes up, tell him it's free. <laughs> but also, apparently, when you have it done, you can smell your own eye burning. Uh, I've never liked that smell. <laughs> It's right up there with dry roasted peanuts for me. Like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> but also, what I like about wearing glasses is any time I want, I can do this, right? And the world's a completely different place, isn't it? It's a sort of fuzzy, soft focus, dreamy landscape. But nothing really bad can happen. Normal people have to take drugs to feel like this. They really do. <laughs> with my glasses off, I'll drive through gaps I wouldn't dream of with them on. <laughs> But it's fine when I take my glasses off, that's fine. It's when other people want to try your glasses on. We've got, we've got, here we've got a couple of glasses wearers here, you two here. Have you, you noticed this? You know when people ask to try your glasses on, yeah? They never wait to be handed them, do they? <laughs> like, never. Anyone says, can I try your glasses on? They don't wait for you to give them. They just whip them off your face, don't they? <laughs> it's so rude. They just, like, whip them off your face. You go, oh, thanks very much, I'm blind, thank you. <laughs> then, right, they, what they do is they put them on and they go, ha, 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 ha! <laughs> How do you see through these? <laughs> they basically just laugh in your face. <laughs> You're fucking blind, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's so rude. You wouldn't got someone in a wheelchair, would you go? Let's have a go in that, mate. <laughs> How'd you get about in this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Got your nan. Let's have a go on your teeth, nan. Help me put a conversation with these in your mouth. People are rude, don't they? I, I was accused of being rude the other day. I got accused of being rude. I was on a train and offered this woman my seat and she got very, very upset. She said, I'm not pregnant. I said, yeah, I know, but lose a bit of weight, who knows what might happen? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't really say that, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. It's really pathetic what I said, I went, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and then I was walking down the carriage and I said to myself, why am I apologising? I was trying to be nice. So I just went, Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was on fire. <laughs> ah, cut myself. <laughs> ah, yeah. no, they are, because, because larger people are quite sensitive, aren't they? They are very, very sensitive, to be careful. I've got quite a few fat friends, or two, seems like more. And, um, <laughs> And I love them dearly, I'm, I'm very, very fond of them. But they, they, they sort of, they've got these double standards, haven't they? Because it's fine for them to make jokes about their weight. They make loads of jokes about their size, like little self-deprecating comments like, oh, don't leave all the food with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exaggerating a bit, obviously, but... Um, <laughs> I'll eat the bloody lot. <laughs> <laughs> Any more of these stairs, I'll have a cardiac arrest. <laughs> <laughs> But that's fine, right? But as soon as I make a little comment, you know, about maybe where we should all sit on the boat... (laughs) 
they get upset, you know? I suppose that's the thing about fat people, though, isn't it? They want to have their cake and eat it, don't they? That's <laughs> Uh, one, one of the things I, I wanted to talk about in the show, so I want to talk about the, uh, the credit crunch is one of the things I want to talk about. I, not what happened particularly, I just want to talk about the phrase. It interests me as a phrase, because uh, it's one of those phrases, and there's a lot of them about these days, that make something sound much better than it is, isn't it? Credit crunch sounds much better than recession, doesn't it? Global financial meltdown. You know, it sounds all right, credit crunch, doesn't it? It's like a breakfast bar or something. It's, it's, <laughs> and there's, there's loads of these phrases and words around which make things sound much better than they are, don't they? For example, um, Cottaging. That sounds... <laughs> that sounds like a village festival, doesn't it? Well, they put a waistcoat on a ferret, and he runs through the village. Whichever house he stops at, they get a free ham, you know? <laughs> if you didn't know what it was and someone said, we're going cottaging, you'd be tempted to go, yeah, I'll come. That sounds all right, yeah. <laughs> Do I need wellies? <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. I'd call that the bare minimum, mate. <laughs> comfort zone. You hear that one a lot. People say, I was out of my comfort zone there. Didn't really feel like I was in my comfort zone. And what they mean by that is, uh, I'm shit at this. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't. They go, I was out of my comfort zone. You know? In my opinion, the only time you should use that phrase in a sentence is if you've done something like maybe put a panda yeah, on a roller coaster. <laughs> You say, I think Chi-Chi was out of his comfort zone <laughs> on Nemesis 2 at Alton Towers. He wasn't. He didn't like the double corkscrew. Ooh, no. Tell you the truth, he didn't like the drive up there. <laughs> In fact, he hated it. I mean, lucky, good job it was a hire car. He slashed the roof. <laughs> hated queuing. Hated it, you know, because they don't queue in the wild. No. They just do what the fuck they want. If it wasn't for the big bag of revels, we never got him on the ride. <laughs> <laughs> talent, talent, that's a word that always promises a lot more than it delivers, isn't it? Particularly, particularly when it's preceded by Britain's got, isn't it? <laughs> it, shouldn't be, it should be called freaks, isn't it? Britain's got freaks. <laughs> Britain's got desperate freaks who look like they've just come out of the sea. Yeah, desperate freaks who really have left it so late in life to give them any chance of improving their surroundings or their lifestyle, you know. But they got to a point now where they're standing in lederhosen, singing Bright Eyes, beating themselves over a head with a tray, <laughs> thinking, this will get me out of negative equity. 